Hello. Hello, hello. I'm just waiting for YouTube to catch up. So let me go over here. There we go. Just want to mute my YouTube. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, it is a beautiful day here. So I hope it's beautiful where you are too. I am going to be making a shabby chic Christmas doily book today. And as you can see, I have already started it. And I'm going to be using um, some grab bags that are available in my Etsy. And you'll be able to see all the goodies that are in them. I also sold these at my recent live sale. Um, but now you can get some of these in my Etsy as well. And that's what I'm using to make this whole book um, is the snippets from the snippet bags that are available. Hi, Shannon. And I've got the link to the snippet bags um, in the chat there. They're $7.50 a bag and uh, you get a ton in each bag. It's well worth the $7.50 and you can see there's some very good yardage in these. Lots of good yardage, like not, some of them are smaller pieces like this, but then you get like great big, huge pieces, right? You get big pieces. This is like the long 10 inch dangle that has been dyed. There's a smaller piece. Then you've got this beautiful trim. So all the bags are different. Um, and like I said, there's good yardage and small pieces. So I picked one out, which is this one that I'm gonna use um, on the rest of my doily book. You can see there's quite a bit there. There's dangles. So they're really good snippet bags for $7.50. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So if anybody's wanting a snippet bag, you can check it out in my Etsy. So what I'm using is the doilies from my live that I did. I sold these at my live as well. They were Christmas doilies and they're square. So that's what I'm using for this book. And then I also made a little mini one out of the rest of the doilies that I sold in the pack. There's none of these left, unfortunately. Um, so that's what I'm using. That's what I made out of the doily pack. And I've got a couple of pages done already. I started on this. Yeah, they're a good deal for $7.50 US. Um, you know, it's a great way to build up your stash too. And I printed my images, and I'm going to be using these two next on the last two pages of Vintage Santa. And this one's got one of my favorite Christmas images on it of this beautiful lady. And these leaves are from some sari trim that I managed to keep for myself. Um, and they're just leaves. But they worked really well on this project. So I've got them there and they're nice and sparkly. And then the next page is a nice pocket page. I just put some lace over top of the green doily there. And then here's the next page with this other lovely, beautiful lady here and bling and vintage buttons, all kinds of fun things and lots and lots of dangles and a handmade flower. So we're gonna work on these two pages. And then if we have time, I'm gonna start the little tiny mini mini one. Um, this one, I'm gonna be doing Christmas fairies. And I've got some of those images already printed out. So those are gonna be the images for the mini. I love this one with Santa and the fairy. So, and then tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live with Amy Love over on her channel and we're doing Christmas snippet rolls. So that's what the rest of these images are for. 
So I have to get that all ready this afternoon. So that'll be on Amy's channel, though. So I'm hoping that I have time to start the little Christmas fairy one, which will be these top six ones here that are going in that mini. But super cute. So, and these are printed on the silk um, paper, which I have right here. All my images this time were printed on the silk inkjet printable sheets. And again, you just pop this in your printer like you do a piece of paper and it prints. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're working on today. So let me get these two covered. And I pulled out a couple of doilies that I thought would maybe work. Because it's nice to see the a little bit of the color coming through, but I didn't want to cover all of but I did want to cover up some of it, I mean. Um, I think that's the right way up. I like this one. I don't remember where I got this one from either. But it's the perfect size. So what are you up to, Shannon? Anything exciting? Just let me get some glue on the back of this. Hi, Angie. How are you? Are you babysitting today, Angie? And I'm just using some vintage seam binding and it's in this kind of burgundy, cherry burgundy color. Yes, I have a big project because the lovely Shannon Morrissey sent me some amazing happy mail on the weekend. And she sent me this. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> it's a huge dress form. It's absolutely huge. And I cannot wait to alter this. I'm very, very excited about this. It's so cool. I love it. Very excited about that, Shannon. And I think what I'm going to do is put those two like that. So what do I want to put around the edge? Let's see here, because of course I'm not organized. I can't wait to see how it turns out either. It's going to be amazing. It's a beautiful dress form. So I thank you so much for sending me that because it is gorgeous. I think I might add some of this that would pick up on the sort of brown tones. I'm just looking for lace as usual. Is anybody else crafting today? Do I have enough of this? I think I do. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. We're just gonna gather this up, go around the edges.
Oh, yeah, you're going to do another one? That would be awesome. Shannon did one. It was beautiful, and she put lights in it. It's amazing. But I was kind of inspired by this show called A Stitch in Time, which is a BBC show. And um, it's this lady who is like a fashion historian, and she looks at, like, um, paintings from the past or famous historical people and what they wore and then they recreate their outfits and she had done an episode on Marie Antoinette who of course was a fashion icon in her time and uh, they did this beautiful white gown and I kind of feel like I want to do something like that with the dress form because I was very inspired by that show. I think that would be, that would be beautiful. I'm glad you're doing good, Angie. Good is good. We like good. Okay. And then I'm going to put some of this beautiful lace, which I don't remember where this came from, but I love it. I must have had it for quite a while. And I think I'm going to gather that at the bottom. You could use a needle and thread to gather it, but I'm just using glue. And you just have to kind of fold it and gather it and it works out fine because I'm going to be putting more lace on top of it. So Okay. Whoops, scissors. Okay. So now I'm going to get in the snippet bag and I feel like I want to put this one next. It's very pretty. Maybe. Hmm. I know there's a dangle in this bag, so maybe we'll pull that out. He's going to go right there. Yeah, I think it'll be beautiful when it's done. Um, it's a gorgeous dress form. And I think I do have some rice lights too that I could, I could use. Um, I'll have to look through my stash. I think I bought some a long time ago. You know, these books get chunkier the more you add to them. I'm going to use this, I think. I like this one too. And it's kind of, I don't know, wintry to me. I feel like I might use that to go around the edge there. And then maybe this one to go around the image. All right. And then I might use some of those. Lots more in that bag. Okay.
This we'll just have to do piece by piece, I think. It's Shannon, Angie. Her name's Shannon. And Shannon also has a Facebook group too. If you want to join it, if you want to put the link in for that, Shannon, you can. Should let you. At least I hope it will anyway. I might go all the way around with this. I think that would be pretty. Do a circle. I like the way that looks. Do you have nice weather going on there, Angie? Okay. It's still a nice big piece left in that snippet. Okay, so we're going to put him there, but first we need to put a bit of felt behind him. Oh, okay, Shannon. I forgot about that. Sorry. Sorry. I am looking forward to tomorrow to doing the snippet rolls with Amy. That'll be fun. She finally got me in the Christmas mode for crafting, Christmas crafting, because I was fighting it. Okay. I'm going to put him there. And add more glue first. I just find putting felt down, it makes it so that your image doesn't sink into your project. It just needs that stability. There we go. I think that's good. Yeah, no worries, Angie. You're dealing with Blue Boy? <laughs> okay, we're going to use this little trim from the snippet bag. Let's fold that under. You can see how fast and easy these are. They come together quite quickly once you've got the base down. Um, but the base is so simple. You know, it's just, um, I just use doilies and then I put some felt in between them for stability, um, just to make them 
like you can see on the little one here, there's a piece of felt in between and it just makes your pages more stable, I find, and they're not floppy then. Um, I just find that works well for me. You can also, if you have fabric in your stash that you don't really like, I've used kind of ugly fabric. <laughs> And that uses it up, and if you run out of felt, that's a good way to, to do that. Okay. Lots left of that as well. Okay. And now this piece, to me, these kind of look like snowflakes a bit. So we're going to cut these and use some of these. We're going to stack them, I think. Just kind of turn them slightly and then they kind of make nice flowers. So we're going to put one there and one down here. I can't tell which way is the right way. I think that way might be. I don't know if I got those the right way or not. Yeah. What size doilies did you get? Hi, Sam. What size were they, Angie? Um, $1.91 doesn't seem too expensive. But the best place I find to get doilies, Angie, in all honesty, is the thrift store. Because then you get nice, cool vintage ones. I think that's going to go there. I know it's blue, but I like the color. It might go there. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we've got. I've got some good things in this bag. Oh, I have that. That would be pretty. Don't remember? Yeah, I would. Do you have a thrift store near you, Angie? I do like um going to the thrift store that's kind of the place where i find the best um, pieces um, they usually have good doilies and table runners tablecloths that you could cut up things like that Hmm. Do I like that bow there? I feel like I want something else there. What else do I have? <laughs> light green and light pink, and they were cute, but yes. I'm good, Sam. How are you? Well, I think, you know, if you like them, then that's what matters, Angie. As long as you like them, 
then it was a good buy. Do you know what you're going to do with them? Are you going to make something with them? Or I like the colors that you got. But I would definitely check out your thrift store and see if you can find something there that you like. Let's see what I have for bling. Bling, bling, bling. Of course, my bling box is way over there. What else do I have? All right, let's see. Oh, I got a snowflake in here. Hang on, we got something here. That would be good. Okay. Oh, you're making Christmas things too? Okay. Ooh, that was hard to open. I also have snowflakes. These snowflakes. That's cute. And what else do I have in this box? Kind of looks cute. That might be too much with the big pearl one up there, though. I thought I saw. Hmm. Just a smaller bling there might be nice. Oh, I do. I have a metal snowflake. Maybe that on top, if I can cut the shank off, it's a button. That might be cute. Let's leave those little snowflakes out. I think they'll go well with this. That's also good. Okay. Gift tags, yeah. I love sewing. Sewing is like my favorite thing. Let's see if I can get this off the back. Well, that came off really good. All right. So I have these snowflakes. So I'm going to put that down on top here. They're plastic, but they've got tinsel in them and they're a good, you know, they'll add a bit of sparkle. And then I'll put my metal snowflake on top of that. And then this little piece of bling on top of that, which I think I got this bling from Debbie Vignola. There we go. Cute. And then I've got the, the ecker on the bottom and then here and then the um, image and then the darker tone in the snowflake. So that kind of brings all the colors together. So I am happy with that. I might put a couple of little clay flowers there. What do I have for clay flowers? Let's see. Oh, I even have brown clay flowers. That would be nice. Brown and pink. Yeah, it's cute, right? And that didn't take much at all to do. So you can see there was lots of good little snippets in that snippet bag from my Etsy. I love buying snippet bags myself from other people because it's not a huge investment and you get a bunch of different things instead of just buying like a yard of lace, you know, you get like a bunch of different things. Yeah, there we go. There's that page. 
I love vintage Santas. All right. So we'll move that one over and then we'll work on this page. And this one's going to have this guy, which is another vintage Santa. It's from a Victorian postcard, I believe. And he's delivering a little doll to a little girl. Yeah, it would be a cute wall hanging. I've got some wall hangings I need to put up in my Etsy. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I think I'll just put him down first and then we'll do the, the trim that goes around it. Okay, let's see. It's fabric, Angie, and I bought this. Um, and you can also get it, these are silk, um, but you can also just get it in regular fabric. And they're just sheets and you just pop them in your printer, just like you do regular paper. You can get these at Michael's. I get mine on Amazon. Um, if you go to Michael's and you have a coupon, they're probably a lot cheaper than I get them for here in Canada. But because uh, I know some of my friends have got them at Michael's with a coupon, they've got them fairly cheap. Um, this is a 10 pack sheet. You can also get the jacquard with the 10 pack of just regular fabric, but they're easy to deal with. You just set up your images. I use Microsoft Word and I set up all my images and then I just print the page with like six or or nine images depending on the size. And then you end up with sheets that look like this. And here's a couple that I printed that I showed earlier. And these are all Christmas images. No, you chat away, girl. So yeah, this one fit nine images, um, but if you make them bigger, of course, then you'll have less. And you just set up your page and then just pop this in your printer and it just prints. Couldn't be simpler. So um, these six at the top are gonna go in my smaller doily book, which is this one, which was the rest of the Christmas doilies that I sold at my live sale. And then the other ones here are gonna be for my live tomorrow with Amy Love. We're doing a Christmas snippet roll. So, and I'm sure you guys know all, all know Amy's channel. And the other thing too, Amy sells um, just regular doily book bases in her Etsy as well. And her Etsy is Amy Love Studio. And I've got the snippets and she's got the the doily bases. And she's also got snippet rolls too. All right, let's see what we've got here. Um, I'm just looking for some trim to go around the edge here. Because of course I'm not organized. Yeah, they are cute. And I get my images from... Um, uh, Google free images or Pinterest. I think I'll use this one. It's got a gold sparkle on it. And I think that might be super cute. That might be cute. Let me see here. What else do I have? I tried to reorganize my laces last week, but you know how that goes. You know. Ooh. No, that's too wide. This one might be cute too. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I might just use the tool again. Yeah, Google is a great place, but Pinterest also is good too, Angie. Um, you can get lots of good, um, lots of good images there too. Yeah, maybe we'll just use this. Let's use this. Maybe we'll put this one on the bottom. Okay. And this tool trim is available in my Etsy as well. Yeah, Pinterest is good for everything. Gosh, I go on there and I get sucked in for hours. Okay, now I might use that other piece from the snippet bag. Where did it go? Where did it go? Hmm. Piece of that left. Piece of that. There it is. Okay. Yeah, as long as they are royalty free and not copyrighted, um, yes. Um, there's a ton of free images that you can use and uh, just, you know, just be careful. Like I wouldn't use images of like Elvis Presley or something, you know, or a famous person and then sell it because I, I think you might get into trouble with that um, or something from a book, you know, that you've taken directly out of a book that's been printed like Harry Potter images or something. Um, I think you might get into trouble that way as well. Um, I don't want to cover that up. I do like the dangles though, so I might do that. Hey, Davida, how are you? Lovely to see you. Yeah, you just have to be careful with what images you, you use. Um, check out what other people are using and, you know, you can just kind of follow along in that sort of idea. And, uh, but yeah, as long as they're free and they're copyright free, you should be fine, Angie. But yeah, you can sell your work. It's a good way to make extra money, especially at the holiday season.
I might do another live. Well, I'm definitely doing another live sale next month on the 22nd of November. Um, we're doing a sort of a live sale hop with um, Kathy, um, who is, oh my gosh, I can't remember her channel, Kathy's Friends. Um, and Kim Lippincott, who is Vintage Rose Creations. Um, and there's a few other people that are going live. And um, it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and goes through the day. And I'll be selling on the 22nd of November. It's a Saturday. Um, and that will be between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. my time. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's see, what do we want to use around the edge? What do we want to use? What else do I have in the snippet bag? Too small. Add some blue. <clears throat> I'm very good. Oh, thanks, Davida. Yeah, it um, it looks like that on the front. We'll just do a quick. That's the front page. And these doilies are my Christmas doily set that I sold at my live sale. And they're square. So this is a pocket. And we just did this page. Lots of dangles and pretty laces. And then we're doing this page and then that'll be the back, which I like to put a flower on the back so or something we'll see we'll see oh i have this piece maybe we'll do that i don't think that'll go all the way around let me see if i have any more of that i don't know if i do probably not probably not I have it in pink, but not in white. Unless I have some in another snippet bag. Let's see. Hmm. I like that. That's from a snippet bag. else do we have in here? Ooh. Got a bit of crochet trim. Is cute. What else do we have? That's another piece from a snippet bag. Okay. Don't put any around the bottom, just the top and the sides. Okay. Yeah. I want to do that. And then I think this is going to go maybe around the edge. Maybe. I think I'm going to use this crochet trim. Oh, are you leaving, Davida?
thank you for popping in. This one would be better going around the edge because it picks up very slightly on the green that's in the image. I kind of like that better. Well, I think my, oh, there we go. I thought my YouTube was frozen for a minute. Yes, do pop in and say hello. We like that. I think that's the right way up. Okay. Oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah, like I said, I got them from uh, Pinterest and Google Free Images. That's, you know, you just type in free Christmas images or free vintage Christmas images or free Santa images or, you know, whatever you're looking for. And then you get quite a selection that comes up. I like that. Okay, and I think I'm going to use a couple more of those snowflakes because I like them. I might put one there and one there and then put some bling or something on top of them. Kind of brings the sparkle in. I've had these snowflakes for years. Well, I thank you, Sam. Okay. So now, let's see. I think I want to put that there. I might put one on the other side too. And a bow. All right. Oh, 
Boy, my glue gun is just eating glue sticks today. Oh, never fails. I always stick my finger in the glue. Never fails. Okay, a little bow. Okay, so let's see what we've got to put on top of the snowflakes. What do we have? says divine which would be cute what can i put on those what do i have for doodads and things I do have these those might be cute or I had another one of those, but I don't. Never fail. When you want two of something, you only ever have one. I just do that. That. And then. Little doodad flowers. Okay. So we'll put these in the center of the snowflake. They're little flower. I think they were cut off jewelry. My friend Olivia sent them to me quite a while ago. And, uh, they have these kind of dangly bits that go on the side. There's like a flower center and then they've got these little dangly bits. <laughs> so I think they'd be cute in the center of the uh, snowflake. Because there's lots of dangles and then we'll do the word divine right there. And then I've got some little doodad flowers that we'll put up here on these. I love little doodad flowers. They're kind of like a finishing touch on your projects. And these ones have little rhinestones in them, so they're kind of cool. Okay, I am happy with that. There we go. What do you think? Doodads are cute. So we've got some tulle and then some trim with a very, very pale green in it to pick up on the green that's in the image. A little bow some flowers and an off-white and then the crochet trim and then lots of dangles at the bottom the word bead and then these lovely jewelry dangles so that makes those two pages look good together i think 
lots of glue strings, but hey ho. And now we just need to finish off the back. Okay, what do we want to do on the back? We're going to want dangles, of course. Won't be too much to finish off the back. Um, might do that. Might be nice to have the gold sparkle on the back, I think. Let's do that. And then what can we put in the middle? I've got one of these doilies might be cute. And if I cut out another one, we could just stack them, make a little doily flower here. I love lace. I mean, really, it is my first love. I think everybody loves lace. It just makes you happy, right? And this will make a nice Christmas gift for somebody. I am going to be selling it. I think if I just put some bling in the center of that, that would be really cute. Dangle. Okay, so let's go around the edge. And then we'll trim it with something nice. I love this trim with the gold sparkle on it. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, I had a couple of pages done, but you do see me doing a few pages. So if you watch the replay, um, I explain like what I printed on and, you know, what I've been up to with the last few pages. And now I'm working on the back page. So we're getting there. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you're gathering with glue. It really doesn't. Because I'm going to put another trim on top of this. A nice thick braid, I think. I know exactly the one I want to use. But it'll finish the back off really nicely. There we go. 
love that lace. So pretty. Okay, so let me get that other braid. Oh, thanks. Um, I love making doily books, and I do have other tutorials on my channel, Sabrina. Um, if you just go back in my videos and look, you can also do a search on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you click on videos, and then on the top right, once you've clicked on the videos, you'll see a little search bar. If you type in doily books, or you go to the playlist, which is tutorials, you'll probably find some tutorials in there as well. Okay, there it is. This is what I want to use. I think that'll finish that off nicely. And then I'm going to put another dangle along the bottom. I th oh, do I want to cut that or no? Let me see here. No, we'll just do this. Excuse me. Had to sneeze. <sighs> Glue stick again. Oh, Shannon, you're so sweet. Shannon has lots on her channel, too. Kind of like this lace. Okay, what do I want to do there? Hmm. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. some bling for the center. And then we'll just fill in with some other little pieces. Oh, I want to put a snowflake on the back too. Then bling. Or hmm, maybe that little satin flower would be nice. Cause if I find I find if you put bling on the back and you lay it down, it scratches your table. So maybe this would be better. 
Yeah, I love that rose. It's one of my favorite trims. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get some of that in my Etsy soon. This rose trim. I absolutely love it. Okay. So now let's add some little doodad flowers and things. I think Jane Marge sent me that piece, but I have others that's slightly different. That's all I have left. <laughs> that's all I have left. So I've been hoarding it. Let's add some little doodad flowers here. here. Okay. And then I've got just some plain white doodad flowers that I can put on the bottom here. But I just find that they finish it off nicely. And then I need to put a tie on it. I think it's nice to have a tie on the side. And then I'll kind of go back and just do little touch-ups and things. Oh, that's the wrong one. That is a different one. How did that get in there? And then there's one there. Okay. Mm. Hey, Kathy. Glad you're here. We're just working on the back page at the moment. Um, and now I've got to put a tie on it, but that kind of framed it nicely, having that on the back. And I'll put my little um, name tag on here that I made it and stuff. So now I need a little something for a tie, which I kind of feel like, if that one wasn't so thick, I'd use that, but I think this might be too wide. You think that's too wide? Maybe not. It's kind of cute though. And it has that iridescence on it, so it might be pretty for a bow. It's kind of wintry. Oh. Yeah. There I'm glad you liked it, Sabrina. Um the problem with Canadian shipping is, it is actually more expensive for me to ship within my own country than it is for me to ship to the U.S. It's actually cheaper to ship to the U.S., which makes absolutely no sense, but you know what Canada Post is like. You know, girl. All right, so I should have done this at the beginning, but I never do because I forget. So what I like to do is I just fold over the end of the ribbon that I'm going to use and I stick it in between the two doilies with the um, felt and I just kind of cram it in there and then I add more glue on top and then glue the two doilies together and that should work just fine to hold the tie in place. Well, thank you. If anyone's interested, it is for sale. You can just email me if you're interested. So let's see. I think probably that'll be enough to make a bow.
And the same thing, you just want to kind of fold it over, stick it in there, and then add more glue, and then stick the two doilies together. And then all I do is just cut it in half, basically, and then you've got your tie. Now for the side, all I've got is my sari ribbon, um, or my seam binding, pardon me. So I think I might um, look through my charms later and add, um, oh, there's a dog barking outside my window and I don't know whose dog it is because we don't have a dog. Yeah, that was more than enough to make a little bow. So there now it's tied together and you've got that cute bow. So then on this side, all I did was go through the doily, the holes in the doilies and run my seam binding through. And then I just tie this together. And most of it was made with the lace snippet bags that I have in my Etsy. And I will put a link to that in the chat. Oh, thanks, Shannon. And the bags are full. There's tons of yardage in them. Um, you've seen like a lot of the pieces that I use today were from there. Um, this was a piece that was in it and you can see there's tons here. So you get many yards for 750 US. So that's a good deal. And the bags are stuffed full. Okay. And that was part of it too. So I think what I want to do then is just kind of go through and see if there's any little um, bits and bobs. I have these as well, which I love. I got these off of a, a necklace at a thrift store and they're dangles. And I think I may want to sew some of these in here. I was going to put them on the front, but I think I'll put them on the inside. So let's untie our bow and just kind of go through. I'm happy with the front. I don't think I want to add anything else. It's got bling and it's got the little sari uh, rhinestone leaves and there's lots of dangles. Yeah, it is like a corset tie. And I'm happy with the ribbon. This was in the snippet bag. And then I made this flower out of just um, squares of fabric that I folded, a little doily, and then this flower was off another trim I had, and then just a, some bling. Um, this was in the snippet bag that I made the, the pocket out of. That was in one of the snippet bags. This trim was in the snippet bag. The white trim was in the snippet bag. Um, the dangles, I think these were from my stash. On this page, uh, this trim at the bottom was in the snippet bag, and this trim was in the snippet bag, I think, or no, this trim was, this dangle was. This dangle was, um, this trim was from my stash, but this one was in the snippet bag. Um, the tool trim is in my Etsy. This was from the snippet bag, and then there's more, um, vintage seam binding and a white sari and I just added some bling and vintage buttons nice big bling here and then some doodad flowers and then this page it has this trim from the snippet bag this one the one that goes around it this dangle and this trim all were in the snippet bag so a lot oh and this one here that's underneath the snowflakes um, this was from a trim for my stash. This was from my stash. And then the snowflakes and bling were from my stash. And the nice big, big glue string for free. Um, this, this light green one was from the snippet trim. This, this dangle on top was from the bag. 
um, tool from my stash. This was from the snippet bag. These were from my stash. The doily trim around the image was from the snippet bag. And then my little dangly doodahs here and the word divine, which is just a little bead, word bead. Haha, <laughs> that's okay, Kathy. Grandkids come first. And then the back page, which we just did. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think what I might do is just go in and maybe add some of these and sew them in later. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out and I hope you guys like it too. Um, this will be for sale. If anyone is interested, just email me and my email is in the description box down below. And the next little book I'm going to work on will be the, the super mini one, which is this one. And this one's going to be Christmas fairies. And I'm going to use these little images here, like I said before, these six at the top here are going to be in this book. So, yep. I think that'll be cute. So that'll be my next little project is this one. And this one will be for sale when it's done as well. So... If anybody's interested, just message me and I am going to add a bit more things to it and I may add a charm on the side so there'll be a little bit more to it um, before I put it up. But if anybody's interested before I put it in my Etsy, let me know because I have to bump the price up a bit if it goes in my Etsy because of fees and things like that. So. so that is today's live, you guys, and thank you all for coming. Um, don't forget tomorrow I will be live with Amy on her channel and that's Amy Love on YouTube and we're going to be doing Christmas snippet rolls and she's got the snippet rolls in her Etsy and I've got the snippet bags in my Etsy so you if you want to go over and pick those up and um, hang out with us tomorrow that would be awesome. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Shannon, for being the mod and being awesome. You're all awesome. <laughs> I had fun today. Thanks, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.